and 50 norotogens. What it's settled on right now is about one, so or I'm sorry, 10, so it is at 10 milliroatogens per hour. Somebody do the math, but I believe we're at a thousand times higher than what the MIA has been claiming for the last 14 years. This entire area is a thousand times hotter than what the MIA is claiming. Let's go ahead and survey some more areas. Uh, we're probably not getting as much gamma through this metal box. We're probably getting some. Uh, and if we go a little further this way, we're still about 18 inches away. We're still reading a steady 8, maybe 9. There's 11, 12th uh, peak right there. Now let's do something else. Let's switch this thing to slow. We've had it on fast. We're on the slow, and what this slow will do, it will even out the pulses, and it will give us a more accurate reading. Now we're on X10, so we're looking at uh, it's about one point. Now let's go find that hot spot again. We're on the slow meter, so it's going to get a more accurate count. It's going to average those counts, taking out the fluctuations. About the same thing. It's going to start climbing up to around 2.9 or 3. Steady three, so this is a very hot area, and where it's at, you're not going to cut this out of the slab. It's going to go in someone's countertop, and it's going to be a health risk to small children, and pregnant women, and even adults. Let's back a meter away. We're a good foot away, and we're still at the two millirotages per hour. Two foot away, this is just as hot as the Houston slab is on contact. Maybe not quite as hot. Well, I guess we had to be in contact to get it. We're still, as, we are right there, we're just as hot as a Houston slab. So, this is one very dangerous countertop. Should not be sold for consumer. Okay, that's it.